Hello and welcome to our video series covering common maintenance practices for ground logic machines. Today we'll be covering hopper gate replacement for the Pathfinder and Pathfinder XC. Let's start by going over the tools that you'll need. A lean Lewis pliers, two 7 16 inch end wrenches, an 8 inch allen wrench, a quarter inch drive ratchet, a quarter inch extension, and a 3 8 inch socket. Start by prying off the cable handle as shown here. Using the Allen wrench, ratchet, extension, and socket, remove the bolts holding the cable assembly to the console. Remove the cable assembly being careful to not damage the wires that use the same plastic protective covering. The wiring will not be removed from the machine. Now remove the bolt that holds the cable restraining plate in place. Use the Allen wrench on the front of the machine and the 3 8 inch socket on the back side of the frame. Here's a better look at the location of the nut. Remove the small plate that holds the cables in place. Using the 7 16 inch end wrenches, Loosen the bolt holding the cable in to the hopper gate. Pull the old cable out and put the new one in the same hole. Insert the cable end through the hole in the quarter inch bolt and tighten the bolt with the two 7 16 inch end wrenches. Position the cable end so the collar extends outside the frame of the machine. Install the restraining plate and screw the plate down using the Allen wrench and the 3 8 inch socket. Connect the cable lever to the console using the Allen wrench and the 3 8 inch socket and tap the plastic paddle into position with a soft hammer. Replace the plastic protective covering over the wire and cable. That wraps up our video covering hopper gate cable replacement for the Pathfinder and Pathfinder XC. We'll be adding more videos so keep checking back.